there's zero appetite for risk in the marketplace right now, in the capital markets. Zero appetite. So what's an exploration stock? It's pure risk. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why there's just a complete inability to raise capital right now. When will that change? I think what you have to see happen first is some resolution to the European crisis. And I'm not talking about a fix. I'm talking about a muddle through resolution that's going to give the markets enough confidence that Europe isn't going to fall off the cliff tomorrow and cause a global you know, crisis and a depression. Okay? And that's, that's the type of fear that has to subside first. And when that happens, I think, they will, I think it will happen. And as I mentioned earlier, I think it will happen through some form of uh, mo money printing by the European Central Bank in some fashion, okay? whether directly or indirectly. And when that happens and the markets are convinced that we're not going to fall off the cliff tomorrow, uh, then that's when I think you'll start to see some of the uh, appetite for risk come back in. But you know, for the exploration stocks, it's going to be probably a longer haul than, say, the development, the companies that are developing assets, already proven assets. Uh, you know, the, 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 the appetite for risk comes in incrementally. It doesn't all come in at once. So I think that, you know, it's going to be tough on the junior explorers for a while, but at the end of the day, uh, you need exploration. Okay, the world population is growing. The demand for metals is not going to go away, and so if the majors aren't doing it, someone's got to do it. And it's always tra it's traditionally been the juniors that have led the way in exploration, and so you will have to have it. And like I said, commodity prices aren't going down, so there will be an incentive to explore again I, when when the fear goes away. And that's obviously done through the Canada's venture markets. We're the best. We're the best. So, yeah. so, so, do you think the world should pay more attention to the TSX venture? Should international investors care more about junior explorer stocks? A absolutely. If I were an international investor, I would really start now that the fear is at its absolute worst in terms of this sector, when no one wants it. That's when I think people should start looking at it and start making some. In uh, some very well researched and educated bets, okay, yeah. and I think yeah, absolutely. Whether they're doing it or not, I, I can't tell you. But if I were them, I would be. 